Okay, we're here with uh, Club Captain and Racine, uh, back, at, back at training this evening, been here, been here for a week. Yeah. Um, how's it going so far? How's the fitness levels? Yeah, so far so good. Uh, easing my way in this uh, this pre-season, had a little bit of a um, little bit of a niggle back in the last season, but me personally just sort of easing it in, but all good. Boys look good, boys look fit, hungry, so looking forward to the season. Okay, uh, just going back to last season, obviously a season that we, we finally got promotion after the the Covid hit seasons and nice to be announced in team team of the season. Yeah, yeah, obviously that's just a, a, a sort of an added bonus given obviously what the club's been trying to achieve in the last three, four years, especially since I've been here. It's just finally nice to get that sort of promotion in, into this top league. So that's obviously the, the uh, most important thing and probably what I'm most chuffed about. Anything above that is just an added, added extra added bonus. Okay, and obviously uh, before before COVID hit, there was a, there was a few injuries, all the rest of it. And last last season, you vir virtually played it ev every game, so th that must have been a, bo a bonus for you in a way. Yeah, again, like, I think in the past I've had injuries, and obviously COVID over the last few years, I think I might have played the best part of 50 games. So that's the most amount of games I've played personally, especially especially in the last probably three, four, maybe even five years. So again, just from a Personal point of view, it was nice to get that many games in and do it consistently, and you know, touch wood, injury, injury free. Okay, so looking ahead to the next season, obviously it's it's a step up. Standards are going to have to go up. Some signings have been brought in. You're obviously club captain. Are you relishing the challenge? Yeah, hundred percent. I think I'm. I'm just. It's going to be good for the club off the pitch. I think everything's sort of in place for, uh, for that to happen. Um, on the pitch, I think you know players that we've already had that we've kept. Uh, and players that we've brought in, I'm actually looking forward to the challenge and think, you know, hopefully, um, I think we'll, we'll compete at that level. I don't think it's going to be a case of um, fighting for bottom. I think we're going to be, well, I hope to hope, um, but I'm confident that we can we can sort of compete with some of the, or most of the teams in that in that league. Yeah, obviously, first game is at Dover. Obviously, they've been relegated. We were just talking to Adam, and he was saying, obviously, they've got a lot of national league experience, so it, w it will be a good test. Are you looking for to that, forward to that first one at home against them? Yeah, yeah. I think um, I think every game is going to be a good test next year. It's just a case of the, uh, the squad we have and the players, just confident that we we can compete. I do I do think it's going to be a big a big change from the season just gone, um, especially from the physicality point of view. But I think. The age of the squad we ha we've had, you know, been relatively young, so they've got that extra bit of experience in. So they'll be hungry for the challenge. That's what they aspire to do. These young ones, they're trying to play as high as they can. And then I think Adam's made some good signings this summer, i.e., experienced ones that have played that level and higher. Um, I think we've got a good mix and a good balance um, where we potentially, like I said, we should be relishing the opportunity to play against these good teams, but also not fearing it because I think we're, we're about to compete. And with the, with the new signings, uh, obviously everyone's got different pers personalities. Are they matching the personality of the squad? Is they going to blend into what's already here? The, the crux yeah, I think so. I think with all the guys that have signed and even like the ones coming from the youth team, I think um, they all seem like they're going to fit in well. But I think we've got a, we've got a good professionalism about this squad and about this this club. Where I think if you're if you don't quite match what we need personality-wise, I think you'll soon hear about it, i.e. from managers or players, but in a good way. It's not a case of, you know, if we don't like you, you're out. It's a case of, like, you fit how we want things to do in this place. So, But I think everyone that's coming so far, I think they've been spot on. OK, and with the next season in mind, which fixture are you looking, looking forward to the most? Yeah, I think there's not uh, there's not really a stand-up one for me, but I think Eastbourne Borough, just because it's that sort of that local derby, local rivalry a little bit, I think that's the only closest one we have in that league, really. So. I'm looking forward to that in terms of that will probably bring a big crowd home and away, so that'll be a good one. And you're looking forward to Bath as well. Bath City away, yeah. I think um, I think I, I, these these long distance ones, the longer ones that are you know a few hours away. I think I'll try and make a bit of a weekend of it with the family. So Bath City will be a lovely place to go to and obviously spend a bit of family time there. Yeah, and obviously you've, you've got a youngster uh, and obviously the wife, so so it'd be nice to take, take them away and get involved and get, get into the game as well. Yeah, they, they come along to quite a lot of games last year, but it's um, obviously, like you say, I've got a, a, a young boy now, so family time is quite important. With football, it's not always the case, you can't always sort of make time for it, so 
you know, make the make the effort for those sort of weekends where you can squeeze in some family time. It's always important. It's nice. Yeah. Um, any any personal goals for next season? Like you, I think you scored about five heavy goals last season. I think that's always been something that I need to improve on scoring goals. Um, I'd like to score more goals. Always would. Um, You're always up there. Always up there. Yeah. Always <laughs> up there. It's just a case of consistently doing it. Like I think you said, I scored five last year, and that was in the first probably six weeks of the season. Um, so that needs to sort of be better. Um, but yeah, hopefully. And icing on the cake to get in the team of the season next year as well as last season. Yeah, look, I'm just, yeah, pff, honestly, not too fussed out. I think that's an added bonus. I think first and foremost is just to try and achieve good things with the squad and the football club. That is, that's that's the most um, or well, big motivation for me because everything about this club, by you, like we've been trying to achieve this promotion for a long time. So be a part of that and making history for the club. That's a massive achievement. And again, for the fans here, like second to none, i.e. the turnout and how they sort of conduct themselves on, on match days. So it's important, or it's a good motivation to do that for them, if that makes sense, to try and uh, do well for them and the club. Yeah, how, how important as a player is it, you know, when you come in here, you step out of the tunnel at three o'clock and there's just bodies everywhere. It must give you a real lift, especially with the songs as well and the fans really get behind the team. Yeah, I think so. I think from uh, experience on the on, on the other hand, when you go to uh, other away grounds where their fan base is good, it can be quite intimidating. Like in terms of you feel a bit enclosed, they're making a bit of noise, and it's like, cool, this is a serious place. Obviously, you don't get that from from a home um, perspective, but you get that sort of extra boost. But not only do you get the boost as a player, you also know that it's going to have to have a a negative effect on your position, making them feel a little bit nervous, a little bit enclosed, etc. So, so all in all, though, looking forward to it. All in all, looking forward to it. Okay, Aaron, thanks so much for your time, mate. Thank you, Pete.